So you are in Staten Island, New York right now. This is where I was born and raised inside of my kitchen. <laughs> right here, right here. I was born <laughs> in this pot. <laughs> they put, my mother put me, um, <laughs> I really would be though, honestly. We're so friggin' Italian. <laughs> I'm Vinny Guadagnino, and you're inside my kitchen in Staten Island. Today, I'm making zucchini noodles with a meat sauce. So pasta with meat sauce is a classic Italian dish. So I'm gonna be making a healthier version of that with the zucchini instead of the pasta, so we can cut down on the carbs. And we're gonna add in some good healthy fats and some protein. And after you're done, you really won't feel guilty eating it. Italians love having big kitchens. My family comes here. We still gather here around the kitchen. My mom cooks here. I don't care about anything else. As long as you give me a kitchen, maybe a bar, you know, I'm all set. All right, so we're gonna start cooking now. And the first thing that we're gonna do is a tomato red sauce. So for this, you'll need one large onion diced, a quarter cup of avocado oil, one six ounce can of tomato paste, two 12 ounce cans of plum tomatoes, salt and pepper, one medium carrot and one medium sweet potato, and about half a cup of fresh basil. All right, so I'm gonna start chopping up some of our ingredients. First, we're gonna start with the onion. I'm starting to cry because this sauce is just so good. I, I cry all the time when I'm in my kitchen, so onion or not, I just, I'm just depressed. Wow, I'm really chopping this whole thing, huh guys? <laughs> I'm really doing this? So we'll get this lit, we'll put it on a medium flame, and we're gonna add in our avocado oil. I like to use avocado oil. I think it's a little bit of one of the healthiest oils that you can cook with. Oh, that smells good though. So we're just gonna give these a quick stir. We're gonna wait for them to turn translucent. So it's gonna take a minute or two, so I'm gonna go cut up some more ingredients. I try to stay away from using sugar when I eat now. So a good alternative, a good healthy alternative to eating sugar in your sauce is to use carrot and sweet potato because they're naturally sweet. And now my assistant will take over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that the onions are ready, we're gonna add in the tomato paste. We're gonna add the, the plum tomatoes now. So add that in, be careful for splashing. All right, so now we're gonna add in our carrot and sweet potato for the sweetness. So we're gonna add in some salt, it's half a teaspoon, so I'm just gonna kinda just wing it. <laughs> That's how Italians do it. We don't really measure anything. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the pepper. And you can always add more in later, depending on how it tastes. So we're gonna let this cook for about 30 minutes until the vegetables are soft and it becomes a nice sauce consistency. But in the meantime, we got some meat to make. For the meat, you'll need one pound of grass-fed ground beef, one small diced onion, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, half a cup of heavy cream, and about four tablespoons of butter. All right, so we're gonna start this off with two tablespoons of butter. Gonna let that coat the pan. So now we're gonna add in our onions to saute first. You can use any meat that you want. I like to use grass-fed. And now before I touch anything else, I'm gonna go wash my hands, so I'll be right back. Actually, it's funny, I grew up in a apartment probably the size of this entire kitchen and my mom still always made it work. So she would always be cooking dinner and we'd always be in the kitchen and we'd always have food on the stove, even though it was a really tiny stove, really tiny place. And then when I was on my TV shows in Jersey Shore and, and stuff like that, I bought a house and a big kitchen so that we can enjoy it. And my mom would have an awesome place to cook and we would all have an awesome place to, to eat. All right, we're gonna season this up a little bit with some uh, salt and pepper. So now that I seasoned it, we're just gonna saute it until it gets nice and brown. All right, so this meat is looking pretty good. I'm gonna take it off of the heat and then we're gonna go back and finish our sauce that we were making before. All right, so this sauce has been sitting for about 30 minutes. It's nice and thick and chunky now. So what we wanna do is we don't want a chunky sauce. We want a nice, smooth, thin sauce. So we're gonna use our immersion blender to thin it up. We just want to cover the meat with the sauce. We are going to add in basil now. Um, it's going to cook down with this stuff. Basil makes everything better. Okay, so while this is simmering for about 30 minutes, we are going to prep the zucchini noodles 
the most important part because we need some kind of pasta to put this on. Okay, so here I have two packages of pre-cut zucchini noodles. So the thing about zucchini is that there's a lot of water in them. So we gotta get that water out so that when we're eating the pasta, it has a good pasta-like consistency, like a little bit of crunch to them. So I have a little bit of a shortcut that we're gonna do. We're gonna put them in the microwave for about a minute or a minute and a half, depending on your microwave. So we are going to transfer the zucchini noodles from this dish to this dish so we can wring out the water. But you wanna just like gently squeeze, kinda of like you're milking a cow or a breast or something. <laughs> All right, so this meat has been cooking for about 30 minutes. So lastly, we wanna add about a half a cup of heavy cream. You wanna do this at the end when there's still like a few minutes left for it to cook. And we put the heavy cream because we really want like a thick sauce consistency. It's actually fall outside right now and this almost feels like I'm cooking a chili. I try to keep everything low carb, but when I go low carb, I go high fat. And that fat really makes it taste good. It keeps you satiated and it's just delicious. So I don't really have too much dairy, but when I do have dairy, I try to keep it as fatty as possible. All right, so now that this has cooked for a few minutes with the heavy cream, we're gonna shut off the flame. And the last step, gonna add two more tablespoons of butter this is really gonna bring the sauce together nice, give it a nice silky consistency. And now for my favorite part, the toasted rigotta cheese. Honestly, you put some of this on anything and it tastes amazing. And of course, you gotta finish off with a nice piece of basil right on the top. So I wanna take a bite. It's really good. You guys will love this dish. Like I said, it's a good guilt-free way of eating a nice dish of pasta. There's a lot of healthy fats in it, a lot of meat and protein in it. Fellas, if you wanna take a couple notes from me, girls love when you cook for them. And with this, you can be like, babe, I'm cooking for you, but I also want you to be healthy. So here, have some zucchini. And then you can have my zucchini later. Zucchini noodles and meat sauce. <laughs>